Having just gotten an electric vehicle, I'm really interested in uh, charging solutions, and so I made a point of going to the ChargePoint booth, and I'm talking to Danny Allen about ChargePoint. What exactly is ChargePoint? Yeah, so ChargePoint is the leading provider of EV charging solutions, so we operate the largest network of public charging stations in uh, the country, and we also offer charging solutions for every application. So at CES, we're promoting ChargePoint Home Flex, which is our newest, uh, fastest, flexible and future-proof home charger. Let's walk, let's walk over by that. It looks like we've got one of them right here. So this is, a, this is a solution that goes in your home, correct? Yeah, so if you're an EV driver, one of the most convenient places to charge is at your house because your car is parked there you know, for eight hours overnight anyway. So you can install a, a home level two charger like ChargePoint Home Flex and um, you know, have the confidence that you're gonna wake up in the morning with a full charge. Yeah, that's where that's where I like to charge for sure. This is cool. Are you watching this, Steve? When I'm plugging it in, it's turning bright green. It's got a little ball swivel on it. That's pretty. I'm liking it. So this is a unit you would buy in your home. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are the specs on that, the, all that amps and volt stuff? Yeah, so it's a level two charger. So it's two, 240 volt power. Um, it can be uh, set to charge between 16 amps and 50 amps. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so it's flexible, um, you know, depending on uh, your, your home's electrical capacity and the type of car that you have today. Um, so we like to call it future-proof because um, you, know, you can set it at the amperage that works for you today, but you can know that you can increase the amperage if you get another car in the future or get one with a longer battery range. Yeah, so uh, my audience knows that I did a section on how long does it take to, to uh, charge your car, and there's a lot of variables that go into it, and one of them is how many amps you're going to draw and what your, the, the current is of your house. So having that be as flexible as that is, is interesting. Now, I understand that, so this is for the home, but, but companies can buy similar devices, or is it the same device? Uh, similar, so it's different. Um, for public charging, there are a few other elements that you want to have in the, the charging hardware. Uh, so for example, our uh, CT4000 station, it's the, it's the primary station that um, you know, workplaces or parking garages or uh, retail locations buy. It's got uh, uh, a screen so that the driver who's coming up, they know, you know what the price of electricity is, how to use it, how to start a, a charging session. But The instructions are really good on those. I've, I've looked at them. I did it wrong like the first 12 times, but it wasn't your fault. It was I was missing a fundamental piece of the equation. I needed to have a, a charge point account. I kept trying to do it and just make it go without an account, so that's why it didn't work for me. Uh, but those I've seen those in a lot of places. I've seen them at hotels. I've seen them in uh, parking garages, like you say, at malls. And so the, the business model is you sell it to them and then they decide whether or not to make it publicly available? Yeah, so we provide the charging hardware and software solutions to the site host or the owner of the station. Um, so our software and our network and our hardware allows them to achieve whatever goals they want to achieve with their offering charging to their constituents. Oh, that's very cool. Now, they can also choose whether or not to make it publicly available or keep it private, correct? Yeah, that's right. So um, the site host can specify the pricing uh, that they want to charge for electricity. And that can be dynamic. So for example, the first hour could be free, but after that they could increase the, the price of electricity. They can decide whether it's uh, publicly seen on the, the ChargePoint app or if it's just private to a select individual. So there's a lot of different um, you know, features and, and settings that they can use with the ChargePoint software. That's very cool. I did. That was one of the times I screwed up and wasn't able to use it. I tried to use it at Google, but I think Google has it restricted to their own employees, which makes sense because it's a perk of working there. And I was like, oh, cool, free electricity from Google, and it did not work out that way. I also didn't have a ChargePoint account yet, so <laughs> I was doing everything wrong trying to do it. What about the different uh, adapter nozzle things? I mean, I don't know what you call those, What you? because my car takes a different adapter than other cars, right? Yeah, so uh, this is the J1772 connector. Um, it's the standard uh, among all different uh, passenger vehicles in the United States, except for Tesla. But Tesla owners, uh, all of them get an adapter that they can put onto the 1772 connector and then plug in. Okay, it's weird that I actually know J1772 because <laughs> I remember looking at that and I have this, this bag of adapters in my car and that is one of them, you're right. This is very cool, so if people want to find uh, charge point stations for their electric vehicles, how would they find it? 
Yeah, um, well, if you're a driver and you're uh, looking for public stations, I would download the ChargePoint app. It's free on iOS and Android. But get an account. <laughs> <laughs> yes, an account is, is important. Um, and then uh, if you're uh, a homeowner or a driver that wants to install a ChargePoint HomeFlex in your home, just go to chargepoint.com uh, slash home and you'll be able to see the options there. And if you're uh, a business owner or someone who wants to offer EV charging to your audience or you know your constituents, um, chargepoint.com will also have uh, the information there. Very good. Uh, can I ask you the uh, price point on the ChargePoint uh, Home? Yeah, ChargePoint Home Flex uh, MSRP is $699. Okay, that's not bad at all. Very good. Thank you very much, Danny. This yeah. is great. Thank you.